the best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness, it was the epic of belief, it was the epic of incredulity, it was the season of light, it was the season of darkness, it was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. We had everything before us, we had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven, we were all going direct the other way. He walked uphill in the mire by the side of the mail, as the rest of the passengers did, not because they had the least relish for walking exercise under the circumstances, but because the hill and the harness and the mud and the mail were all so heavy that the horses had three times already come to a stop. Your father is alive. It is probable, almost certain, that he is greatly changed. If when I tell you, dearest dear, that your agony is over and that I have come to take you from it, and that we go to England. Darnay loved his country, and he would never steal from it. But don't you think you could have mistaked the accused for me? Yes, maybe I do look exactly like Mr. Carton. My son lies dead here because of you, you monster. Have you no pity? Have you no soul? Uncle, I denounce my title and heritage and the family of the St. Evermond. A knife to his heart and with a note on it, drive him fast to his tomb, this from Jaquis. Mr. Manette, I deeply love your daughter and would like to marry her. I accept. I know, but it rises out of my soul. For you and anyone dear to you, I would do anything. If my career were that of a better kind, that there was an opportunity or a capability of sacrifice in it, I would embrace any sacrifice for you and for anyone dear to you. Try to hold me in your mind at quiet times, as ardent and sincere in this one thing. The time will come, and the time will not be long in coming, when the new ties are formed. Grave robbing is considered such a sin, yet I still dig and dig into the ground. Darkness closed around, and then came the ringing of church bells and the distant beating of the military drums of the royal guard as the women sat, knitting, knitting. Another darkness was closing in as surely when the church bells then ringing pleasantly, and many an airy steep over France should be melted into thundering canyon, when the military drum should be beating to a drone a wretched voice, that night all potent as the voice of power and plenty, freedom and Dr. Manette, I am of noble blood. I belong to the family St. Evermond, but I have denounced my heritage. Onward, comrades, take the Bastille. Go, go. To battle. You there, take me to 105 Moon Tower. urgent mail for the Marquis. He is my friend. I shall take it to him. Here. Heretofore the Marquis, after having long been in danger of my life at the hands of the village, I have been seized with great violence and indignity and brought a long journey on foot to Paris. On the road I have suffered a great deal, nor is that all. My house has been destroyed, razed to the ground. The crime for which I am imprisoned and for which I shall be summoned before the tribunal and shall lose my life. Your afflicted Gabel. Charles Darnay, you are under arrest for being a treasonous aristocrat. Mr. Lorry, have you heard? Charles Darnay has been arrested in France for treason. Is there possibly anything you can do? We do not know what to do. Please help us. We heard that Telson's bank might be able to help. It is grim times in Paris. If you don't believe me, look out that window. What do you mean, Mr. Lorry? 
the grindhouse had a double handle and turning at it madly were two men whose faces as their long hair flapped back when the whirlings of the grindstone brought their f charles darnay because of dr manette a former bastille prisoner you are free to go i testify against charles darnay with dr manette's writing My husband, my father, my brother, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, hush. My husband, my father, my brother, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, hush. Charles Darnay, we hereby find you guilty of treason. Your punishment will be execution tomorrow at noon. Switch clothes with me, quick, before the guards return. Wait, why? Okay. Just do it. The sake of your life lies in the balance. Fine. Give me your clothes. Sight. It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. It is a far, far better rest that I go to than I have ever known. The End